Former San Antonio Spur, LaMarcus Aldridge recounts the scariest night of his life that led to his unexpected retirement from the NBA in April. That's what he told The Athletic in his first interview since abruptly leaving the game due to an irregular heartbeat. Aldridge played five seasons for the Spurs before having his contract bought out by the team in March and when he was benched from the starting lineup. He was picked up by the Brooklyn Nets to help them contend for the NBA championship. But in a game against the Lakers on April the 10th, his irregular heartbeat lasted the entire game, forcing him to go to the hospital early the next morning, leading to his retirement. But his decision to give up basketball has admittedly left him depressed after 15 years in the league. The Marcus found out that he suffered from Wolf Parkinson White syndrome when he passed out on the bench in 2006. And when he played for the Spurs, we know of at least three times when he was affected by the rapid and irregular heartbeat, but now it has ended his career on the court. Portland at Denver last night, game five of that Western Conference first round series, fourth quarter, Blazers down three, Damian Lillard makes a triple, tying this at 121 with three seconds to go and eventually forcing overtime. In OT now, same deal for Portland, Dame spins for a step back three and he's got it, tying this at 135 and we're going to overtime number two. Lillard made an NBA playoff record 12 three-pointers and he scored 55 points. But Denver would hold on, pulling away in the second OT to win 147 to 140, taking a 3-2 series lead. In two more playoff games from yesterday, the Nets beat the Celtics 123 to 109 to win that series. Four games to one, and back in the West, the Suns hammered the Lakers, who played without Anthony Davis due to an injury, 115 to 85, and they lead that series 3 to 2. Pro football coverage, powered by Davis Law Firm. The Houston Texans have signed former New England Patriots running back Rex Burkhead, becoming the ninth ex-Patriot to join the Texans. Now, that's no surprise, really, since Texans general manager Nick Casario held every position from personal assistant to offensive coaching assistant, to scout and director of player personnel starting in 2001 with the Patriots before he was hired by the Texans this year. Burkhead played the last four seasons, including 10 games in 2020, before he injured his knee in a game against the Texans. This gives the Texans more choices to improve their running game, which ranked second to last in the league last year. UTSA Roadrunners have announced they'll be at full capacity in the Alamo Dome when they kick off their 2021 football season under second-year head coach Jeff Trailer. That's after they had to play at only 17% capacity for the entire season last year or 11,000 or less fans. But after seven wins during the pandemic and making their second ever bowl appearance, the Roadrunners are expected to attract many more fans this year, especially with the restrictions lifted. In Major League Baseball yesterday, the Astros beat the Red Sox 5-1 and the Rockies edged out the Rangers 3-2 in 11 innings and in Texas League, the Cardinals hammered the missions 10 to 3, scoring five runs in the bottom of the first. You got to figure the UTSA Roadrunners are pretty excited about having more fans, especially yes, if they can they keep the momentum are. last year going. Yep. Huh? Growing, know growing and growing. Thank you. <laughs> All right, SA Live, Mike is holding down the fort today. Ooh, Charm City snowballs, something you have never had before. And Jason Benson is the man behind this. What flavors do we have here, first of all? Uh, this one is going to be an egg custard with marshmallow, and then we got a key lime pie. And it is a special block of ice that goes in this machine, right? It is, yeah. We get our okay. ice specially made uh, from, from Morellis Ice here in San Antonio, specially made for this machine and for those blades. We are going to get this baby fired up. The story behind why he has this, every guy is going to be in trouble with their wives once you hear this story, believe it or not. Fiona is out and about today and getting some really good food. What is on the menu, Fiona? Uh, let me tell you, we are all up in Chef Leo Davila's kitchen here at his new restaurant, Sticks and Stones. And get ready because you are going to see some incredible fiestified food because we are doing that with some San Antonio staples, right? Absolutely. All that and more coming up. See Big Red, you know what goes with that. All right, the Pooch Parade. We are talking Fiesta in the month of June. It's only a couple of weeks away, and Pooch Parade is going to be a little bit different. Yes, there, oh, oh, she was napping a little bit earlier this morning, so going to be virtual costume contest, everything else, and it goes for a really, really good cause. It helps therapy animals around town. Also, uh, breakfast, most important meal of the day, but it can be a little bit different, difficult at times. Uh, how about a very easy breakfast to make? I'm gonna learn how to do one of those, you know, egg in toast in the grill and a little, couple extra little different things in there. So, all right, which one was this again, Jason? Key lime pie. Key lime pie in a snow. Oh! <laughs> 
I'll eat it anyway. That and more coming up on SA Live. Never miss a story. Watch live or when you want. San Antonio's latest news and weather. Streaming free on KSAT TV. There are some pop-up showers across our coastal communities, so near Cuero, Hallettsville, Gonzales, and Victoria. Uh, but for the rest of the afternoon, rain should remain isolated. It's late in the afternoon and evening that we'll see scattered showers and storms first in the hill country and then here in San Antonio. We'll be monitoring for strong uh, to severe weather as well as the risk for flooding. Even tomorrow morning, it looks like it'll be a little bit of a rainy commute. So plan accordingly. Heavy rainfall is going to be possible all the way through through the weekend active weather pattern here as we're starting off June, uh, getting as much rain in the rain gauges as we possibly can before those dry summer months. If you have any outdoor plans and want to make sure to stay up to date with the radar, the KSAT Weather Authority app has a radar on it, and we also go live from that app if there are any kind of if there is any kind of inclement weather or danger to you. Temperatures should be well below average by about 10 degrees, with highs only in the low to mid 80s. All right, Sarah, keeping you busy. It's going to be an interesting show. There's a reason why we always worry when Fiona is not right there with Mike, because things can happen. And they just did. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope they got it all Can't straight. even trust him with a snow cone. Be careful, Mike. Let's see if he can handle it as a live starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Uh, hello and happy Wednesday. Yep, June is here and the countdown to Fiesta is on and they are dressed and ready to go. Yeah, there's nothing really more heartbreaking than when your snowball just falls over there, your ice cream cone, but we have a lot more in store. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage, and uh, oh, it is great to get in the Fiesta spirit. And speaking of Fiesta, Fiesta food, and Fiona is cooking up some Fiesta food. How are you? What's cooking? I, you know, I kind of drew the great straw today, right? Because you are not going to believe some of the fiestified food on some San Antonio staples we are going to do. I've got Big Red. Ooh. All right. You know Big Red and Barbacoa, right? Yep. But look at this. Look at this tortilla. All right. Ooh. I'm here with Chef Leo Davila at Sticks and Stone, and we are going to be cooking up a couple of recipes in just a few minutes. I, I am very jealous that you are cooking with Leo, but you're going to be jealous when you see what we have here because our first guest went from slinging cocktails to slinging snowballs, and he is a former flair bartender now bringing his own twist, the icy treat to the Alamo City. Jason Benson and his better half, Jennifer, join us now, the owners of Charm City Snowballs. This is different. You know, you've got snow cones, you've got raspas, but you said this is completely different, right? Right. So snow cones and raspas, they're kind of one and the same. Snow cones are the traditional, like you got off the, the ice cream truck when you were a kid, the red, white, and blue, it's in a cone, paper cone. Mm -hmm. Hard as a rock, it's chipped ice, crushed <laughs> ice. Um, snowballs is, is exactly that, it's, it's snow. It's, it's fine, powdery snow. Um, it actually originated in, in Baltimore. There's controversy whether it's Baltimore or New Orleans. Uh, we say Baltimore, but the ice man used to push the cart. But you've also kind of kind of combined. We're going to talk. The story is fantastic with this. First of all, we we'll see and this machine that you bought, and the ice has to be really, really cold and specialized, right? Yes, has to be specialized iced. Um, we keep it really, really cold. We have specialized blades in there that are made just for us. Okay. Uh, we sharpen them a lot uh, to make sure we can get that fine powdery snow. Okay. Well, I dumped my snowball first of all. Let's see if I can do this. So you turn it on, and I, it's a two-step process here. So And it is amazing, I don't know if you can really see that light, fluffy texture of this. And then some of the flavors that go on here, the one in front, you said people will see that online and go, tell me, or see your truck and say, tell me you yeah, have that. Yeah, that's the one in the middle. That's egg custard. Um, that's, a, that's a classic Baltimore, Baltimore flavor. That's most, most people grew up eating egg custard with, with marshmallow. Okay, I'm thinking egg custard, where does that flavor come from? So, like I was saying before, the, the ice man that used to push the ice cart down the street in the, in the 1900s, you know, for people's ice boxes, um, he developed this little hand planer thing that he would shave the ice off of his block and he'd give it to the, the neighborhood kids and they would hold it in their hands and it was snowball. Pretty darn good. Yeah. <laughs> 
So they'd bring it home to their mom, and their mom, you know, the, the big dessert back then was, was egg custard. They would just take the syrup that they made for that, pour it over the, the ice, and they would eat it as a treat, and it just turned into a, to a thing. Okay, and in the, the tease, I was talking about how every guy is going to be in trouble with his wife. When you hear this story, Jennifer, why exactly did he start in this business? So I was pregnant with my second kid, our second kid, and I just wanted a snowball. That's all I wanted, I wanted a snowball. Um, and little did I know, Jason was researching like where to get snowballs, and then I went into where to get a snowball machine. What kind of snowball machine? Because you'd already moved from Baltimore, right? Right, okay. right, and we had just moved here. And then next thing he knows, he comes in and he says, honey, I just purchased a business. I was like, WTF, like what did you do? <laughs> what did you do? He said, well, you know how you're craving snowballs. I bought you your own snowball business. You can have any flavor you want. And uh, that's how Charm City Snowballs was born. That one you got there, that's blue coconut. Don't the rest of us guys feel like, you know, yeah. You got your, what, what did you do for the first child? So for the first one, he was actually, <laughs> he was in the academy for law enforcement, so he wasn't um, around for the first pregnancy, but the snowball stand was right down the street. So fortunately, I was able to just drive down the street. <laughs> and, uh, but in San Antonio, that's not, that's not the case. And, and talking about being in the academy, both have been in law enforcement and with the canine, correct? Yes, I was with the canine. And your other um, job that you had for a while? Uh, my other job for a good while, I was Baltimore Ravens cheerleader. And not only does she have a snow cone machine, she tops everybody, you know, when it comes to that. And you have also what? I have a Super Bowl ring. I was actually uh, a cheerleader when we went to the first snowball, uh, snowball, <laughs> <laughs> Super Bowl in 2000. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yes, same same very cool. ring that the players have. Same Just ring. Different yes. inscription on the side. So, it has my name though. All right, <laughs> let's make another one. And you said one of the, the, the treats is the fact that you put ice cream in here? Yeah. Okay, so I put a little bit of snow in here. Yep, so you'll fill it about three quarters of the way up. All right. All right, there, there we go. go. And then you're going to want to throw whichever syrup you want in there. Uh, which one's a good one to put in? Uh, with there's an ice cream flavor here. Dream sickle's oh. probably the best with that. Dream sickle. Dream sickle. That one? one's right there. This one. Okay. Yeah, dream sickle. I love dream sickles. Okay, we'll put that in there. All right. And then right. your ice cream soup is right under the machine. Yep. So Grab a little it. scoop of ice cream. Throw <laughs> it in there. <laughs> and where are you? While I'm doing this, where are you guys located? Uh, so we're right on Broadway. We have kind of kind of a fixed location. We parked the trailer full time uh, on Broadway, right in front of the Smoke Shack and across from the Witty Museum. Um, so you can get, you know, the best barbecue in San Antonio and then come across to us and we got the best snowballs in San Antonio. Go to the, go to the Witty and everything else. Yep. Oh. Hmm. Oh, snow cone. It's getting your Game oh, changer. Wow. That's really good. Yep. Mm. That, oh, great story too. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. If you'd like more information, and again, right there on Broadway, across from the Witty, next to a Smoke Shack, Charm City Snowballs. Go to our website, SALive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Fiona, yes, like I said, you would be jealous. This is really, really good with that little bit of ice cream in there and all these flavors. Mm. Okay, hold up. I'm about to make you really jealous because we're here at Sticks and Stone with Chef Leo Davila, but take a look at his desserts. He's got great desserts here, too. This is a churro bread pudding, and Mike, I know Ooh. how you are with bread pudding. This is a, you heard me, churro bread pudding. Okay, then we have the tres leches. All right, take a look at that. Look at that yum yum. Then mm -hmm. we've got some macarons, and we have a lemon bar. And a lemon bar, to me, I mean, this one sounds incredibly refreshing. You know, mm -hmm. especially during the summertime with the heat. So we want to know, what is your favorite summer treat to beat the heat? Is it? Right now, it? mine is this lemon bar. <laughs> that looks really, really good. And lemon is so nice and refreshing. The snowball is. is fantastic. Is it a big uh, ice cream cone? Is it a milkshake, a Rossbuck? What is your favorite? And uh, we'll add to it. Where do you get your favorite? Mm. I know where I get my favorite snowball right here and where you get that lemon bar, too. Mm -hmm. So, let's go. Mm -hmm. So I keep let us my know I'm sorry. at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter. What? Huh? Okay. Let us know well, at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter. <laughs> and if you haven't eaten lunch yet, you are about to make everybody really, really hungry. Right, Fiona? As I am right now looking at that lemon bar. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hang on. Okay. So, we are here at Sticks and Stone 
of Wurzbach and Fort Den with Chef Leo Davila, and this is fairly new, right? Only yeah. since March? Uh, late March, yes. Okay. So brand new, brand new. All right, and we are making a fiestified San Antonio staple, right? Because yes. we got the Big Red here. There's a look at the finished product. Tell them what that is. Uh, so, you know, Big Red and barbacoa, as everybody knows, that's a Sunday staple. So we just wanted to put our twist on it. Um, you know, corn tortillas are near and dear to us, and we always want to just have fun with it, do something a little different, um, but still bring that same great flavor that you're used to loving on Sunday afternoons. Okay, so you've got, yeah. what are you starting with right there? So right here we just have uh, Maseca Masa that you can find at your local grocery store, and then we're just adding a touch of Big Red. And we really like using Big Red or any carbonated products into it, because it really leavens the dough. It doesn't make it as dense, doesn't make it as hard. So a little fluffier, if you will, for lack fluffier, of a better yeah. word. So besides Big Red, what could you use? Uh, so, I mean, a lot of people have done a lot of different sodas and other stuff. You'll see like in cakes, especially like mm -hmm. the 7-Up cake, the Big Red cake. Uh, so we do a lot of Topo Chico into our pancake batters, our waffle batters, just to help with the whole process so they're not dense. They say light and fluffy for you. Okay. So and once these, yeah, I'll oh, go for it. Oh, no, no, go, go oh, ahead. Yeah. So once this is all worked, you know, you'd work it just like a regular masa, uh -huh. and then you'd cook it on your flat top or your griddle. And then this is a finished product. So you get a nice little color to it. It stays red. Every time we do these, we did these at another event. And people were like, what did you use in there? Big red. Like, what else? Big red. <laughs> Big red, that's what it. What kind of dye did you use? Big red. Um, you know, and that's the, kind of the whole purpose of it. And we really wanted that full flavored Big Red to come all the way through it. So we also did a strawberry and Big Red jam. Oh, and then Fiona, yeah. what you're working over there yes. um, is our barbacoa. So with that, we marinate that for 24 hours. We let it go low and slow for 10 to 12. And we just let it rest. We let it all come together. We let all those flavors hang out, have fun together. And then once we're done, what we do a little different is we let it cool overnight. And the reason we do this is we want that fat to rise at the top so we can just skim it. Nobody wants to eat all that extra fat. They really right. want all meat barbacoa. So that's just a little extra step that we do, you know, to make it make sure it's all good and great. And then we just season up a little bit of adobo spice. And then almost like a carnitas, but not really a carnitas, we just want to get a little crispy, right? We want some of those ends to stay a little crispy um, so that they can stay full flavored. Now, in my right, household, yeah, you can let it go for just okay. a touch longer. Okay. In my household, it's always like the cilantro and onion. Well, you know what? My mom's one of those where cilantro tastes like dishwash, uh, uh, dish detergent, right. dish soap. So and did you mute it kind of? Yeah, so, did you so, tame it? Yeah, to kind of help with that, what we did was we did, um, you know, my sous chef Hunter made a cilantro and basil pesto, and we used uh, Parmesan cheese in there as well as pecans. So pecans go really well with this dish as well. So that's going to be kind of like that, that addition for people who don't want that raw onion, that raw cilantro. We have that alternative. Now, if they do want it, we do a beautiful caramelized onion. We can finish it with lime and cilantro as well, but we want you to enjoy it our way. So that should be good now, Fiona. Yeah. So we can just do a couple of big heaping spoonfuls or tongfuls of that guy. Mm -hmm. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and finish it with the pesto. And then from after the pesto, we're going to use this chili de arbol salsa. So this has guajillos into it. This has uh, dried arbol chilies. We steep those really well. And then we just make this full bodied hot sauce. So it's not overly spicy, but it does give you a little bit of that, that heat and that tang to it. All right. And people, you know, remember you, of course, from Catch the Wave and all those great sauces. And we're using one of those great sauces right now. Correct. Right? Yeah, right. This, this one is really great. Um, really just kind of ties this whole dish together. And then we're going to finish it with a touch of crumble. Woohoo! the queso fresco and then like i said my favorite if you've never had pickled watermelon rind this is definitely the way to go finishing touch you know 100 oh, yes. percent yield you know we don't want to throw anything away okay it's out the door ready to roll there is even more yum yum coming up so you're going to want to stick around of course sticks and stone located here on wurzbach uh near wurzbach and 410 what are your hours real quick uh so wednesday through mm -hmm. saturday 11 to 9 sunday brunch 10 to 3. all right more coming up get ready for another fiestified san antonio staple Oh, I swear I could smell that cooking in that pan right there. And you better grab some of that uh, churro bread pudding. I'll be your best friend. Yes, indeed. Oh, oh, I'm very jealous right now. Very much so. Mm. Mm. All right, still ahead on SA Live. She has more than a million subscribers on YouTube. This popular chef is showing us a fresh take on breakfast with two super simple recipes. But first, the Fiesta Pooch Parade is back and King and Barkio is here to tell us all about it and how you can join a new twist on this celebration for a really, really good cause. That's next on SA Live. Oh, look at that face, that's great. <laughs> 
<laughs> Welcome back to SA Live. Well, that has to, of course, be one of the cutest events of Fiesta. The Fiesta Pooch Parade, you know, has been the primary fundraiser for Therapy Animals of San Antonio for the past 20 years. And since this year, it's in June. It's going to be just a little bit different, but every bit as fun. And Sandra Olslaver and King and Barkio over here to my left joins us now. Therapy dog Maddie joins us along with Marion Mura from Aztec Canine. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Okay. Well, okay. King and Barkio, first of all. Oh, this is Maddie, <laughs> and she was chosen uh, this year to be King and Barkio or to represent Fiesta Pooch Parade here in San Antonio. And we're thrilled. Thank you for having us oh, on. Oh, certainly. So it's going to be different. Our costume contest this year, a little different. We're mm -hmm. having a virtual parade, and um, you can go online at www.fiestapoochparade.org and you can sign in. It has started already sending your pictures of all of your dogs in their costumes. And on June 26th at midnight, um, I'm sorry, June 24th at midnight will be ended the pictures in their costume contest. And on June 26th at Subaru Live, the top 10 contestants that have been voted on will be presented at the Subaru Live, which is our our big sponsor. And speaking of costumes, these are absolutely gorgeous. And you <laughs> made all these, right? Yeah. And, okay, what's the inspiration for this? This is one of the prettiest dog costumes I think I've ever seen. So I couldn't find anything that represented my culture mm -hmm. and that also will fit good on my dogs because I have a little corgi mix that is kind of hard to feed, the same as this little bulldog um, and pugs. And there are a lot of dogs that are kind of hard to feed. And I just wanted to make something that represented my culture and will fit everybody very good. And, and I mean, look at the layers on this and everything. And you even have the the <laughs> crinoline, yeah, yeah, the crinoline underneath there. <laughs> she goes a lot. I mean, this is just for dogs too. So yeah, and this first one is made out of cambaya. It has three layers of the cambaya fabric. That one mm -hmm. is very traditional. The indigenous people, you're gonna see them around Mexico. They normally carry their babies on that fabric. So you, they normally have the babies on the back and they just tie it in the front. Um, and I always loved that, but I didn't know what to do with it, so I wanted to do some cambaya dresses for the pups. <laughs> and, I mean, the beautiful Fiesta colors on this one as well are yeah. fantastic. And all the different layering in there, <laughs> those are gorgeous. And not only on these size dogs, too, but a little bit bigger ones. So we have uh, Bonnie over here, yeah. and Bonnie is wearing another one of these beautiful outfits. Look at the great colors on that one. Yes, indeed. <laughs> oh, yes, you, you look like a happy dog there, Bonnie. Yes, indeed, you, you look very pretty. Okay, so along with the costume contest is the uh, virtual uh, pooch parade. The costume yes. contest has an entry fee. Yes, it has a $10 entry fee for the costume contest, but the parade itself is free. If you go online and you can enter, send in your photos, and that is free for everyone. So also go on our website at www.fiestapoochparade.com and submit your photos for the virtual parade and, and uh, you know it. it's a lot of fun and people are dressing up the dogs but it's for a wonderful <laughs> wonderful cause and it's therapy dogs it is right? therapy dogs of animals of san antonio we have been here serving the community for over 20 years we visit brick army medical center children's hospital at methodist methodist hospital Fourth Floor Children's Ronald McDonald House, and Maddie um, has for three years been at the Ronald McDonald House on Lewis Street. Um, and if you'd like, you can also buy t-shirts. Oh, oh, yes. yes. And medals, <laughs> of course. There's the, do you like that medal? You want to see that? Look at that one. That's a good looking medal, isn't it? <laughs> yes, indeed. You can get all of those items as well. And once again, you can register and start submitting your photos for the Fiesta Pooch Parade right now. Voting's going to start soon. Top 10 picks will compete at a live event on Saturday, June 26th. And you can also <laughs> sign up to join the virtual parade that's also happening on the 26th. And for more information, just go to salive.com and click on the as seen on SA Live tab. We also have a link to Aztec Canine, so you can start browsing for that perfect outfit. Talk about perfect outfits. These are gorgeous. Okay, ladies, thank you very thank much. Thank you so much. Please and, come and join us. us. Thank you. It's a wonderful cause. Thank you for inviting us. Still ahead on SA Live. Yep, you want to get rid of those glasses and contacts? Contacts and how correcting your vision can be easy. Big deal, we'll save a lot of money. That's next.
Welcome back to SA Live. Well, people who have done it say it is life changing and you can save a whole bunch of money with a great special today. And we are talking about Z LASIK. And here to tell us more is Richard Doinov, Operations Manager at Manrique Custom Vision. Finally get to see you in person after a long time. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, my friend. Okay, blade free LASIK procedure at Manrique Custom Vision, Z LASIK, vast improvement over traditional methods. Kind of explain it. What, what is this all about? Uh, Z LASIK, like you just said, is totally blade and pain free. Uh, the Z LASIK, in our opinion, is the least invasive out there, so you really don't feel any anything while he's doing it. Under 10 seconds an eye for the procedure to get rid of your nearsightedness, your farsightedness, or even astigmatism, and you're done with the glass and contacts. And you said literally the procedure takes about 30 seconds per eye. Uh, what about then the recovery? Um, you usually we tell people to go home and sleep for four to eight hours because if there's gonna be any irritation that'll happen during that time, you wake up and I always tell people, if you think you're seeing good, you're not. In the next 48 hours, usually afterwards, it goes from regular TV to HD TV, it's that good. Really? Yes, sir. That quickly? Yes, sir. So get rid of the glasses, get rid of the contacts, no more fogging up glasses when you walk outside here in the middle of summer or anything like that, right? Absolutely, and then the contacts, of course, irritating, sticking to your eyes, scratching them, all sorts of stuff, yeah. Now, who is, who's a candidate for this? Anybody with, you know, like you said, nearsighted first, astigmatism, just about anything? You said it, um, anybody that knows they don't have an eye disease. So, if you have an eye disease, you're more, you can call us up and we'll tell you if that disqualifies you, but uh, the laser just treats the surface of the eye, so all the eye diseases are behind the eye, so anything on a surface we can usually treat. Okay, and of course, Dr. Dr. Manrique has done literally tens of thousands of these, right? Approaching 55,000 laser vision corrections right now. Well, it yeah. seems like a lot, but when it's 30 seconds per eye, you just got to rest. And some of the other benefits from having Z LASIK, other than not having to mess with contacts and glasses. A lot of benefits. It's, it's a the biggest benefit is the freedom. Uh, the freedom of not having to worry about putting your contacts in solution. The freedom of not worrying if you lose your glasses. You can see stuff that you know, a lot of people take for granted. You know, you get up, you can see your kids, you can see yourself in the mirror is 100% about the freedom. And financing? Uh, we do offer up to 36 months interest free. Um, I do have low monthly payment plans for those that are, might be on a little bit tighter budget and we take medical spending accounts and flexible spending okay. accounts. And on top of that, you have a nice special going on right now too, right? Absolutely, up to $2,000 off the Z LASIK, uh, depending on your prescription. We love, I'm glad we're back here with you, man. Oh, it's all, great to see you. It, you too, I mean, it's, it's yeah. awesome, but I love to educate your viewers. Uh, we love taking good care of them too. It's always good to see you. All right. Well, and don't forget about that that great deal going on right now. So call or text today, and up to two thousand dollars off your Z LASIK procedure at Manrique Custom Vision. Of course, depending upon your prescription, just call 210-354-2020 or text LASIK to four five three eight four for an instant discount. And for more information on Manrique Custom Vision, visit the website sa.manriqueeye.com. Richard. Good seeing you, sir. Thank you, my friend. All right, next on SA Live, a local award-winning chef is all about fresh new flavors. Fiona is, ooh, got something coming out of the fryer right there. That looks good. We are gonna check out his brand new kitchen and she's gonna do a little taste test and a twist on Fiesta Favorite. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, of course, earlier you saw Fiona and Chef Leo Davila put uh, a fresh spin on that classic Big Red and Barbacoa. I can still smell that Barbacoa cooking, I think, from here. And now they've got a new twist on a uh, Fiesta favorite. And last I saw you, you were at the deep fryer. What is that, Fiona? It looks delicious. Mm -hmm. We are now taking on another Fiesta Classic, chicken on a stick, oh. and it's getting a tasty twist. I'm back here at Sticks and Stone with Chef Leo Davila. And Chef Leo, say it's true, if your heart is pure and you believe good things can happen, right? Which is do come through. How do you make chicken <laughs> on a stick better? How'd you do it? Well, right, so taking on chicken on a stick, we feel like it's a classic, like mm -hmm. a classic movie like Back to the Future. You never want to deal with the classic. However, we wanted to put our own spin on it, especially with Fiesta being missed. We just wanted to showcase chicken on a stick in a different way. Okay. Um, so what we do is we take chicken thighs, we marinate them, and then we do a quick fry. And with that fry, our dredge is a lot lighter. So it's tapioca, potato, and cornstarch. 
No, so you just give it a bath yeah. in this? And then that right there is our like, goji jean glaze. Oh. Um, that's one of our favorite sauces right now. It has tamari, has goji jean, a little bit of mirin, some sesame oil, some salt, pepper to balance it all out, a little bit of jalapenos. You know, this is like a little chicken on a stick spa, right? It now. is, it yeah. is. <laughs> okay. And um, so what we do from there is once we have that, then we just kind of throw it on our plate. And these come, you know, depending one or two to order. So if you want to dredge up both of those for me. All right. And the sauce is really nice. So it's a combination of sweet and spicy. So like a Korean version of like, I guess, sweet and sour sauce with more of a kick to it. And we do that on our rice bowls. We do that on our pork belly skewers. So we feel it was only right just to add it to this. So from here, now we're going to do a couple of finishing options. If you want, if you want to take the green goddess, mm -hmm. that right there, just drizzle it right on top. Ooh. Yeah, just like that. And then we're going to finish it with our toasted sesame seed. Just adding a little bit of toast to it just brings out all that nuttiness of it and just brings this dish together. And of course, we like a touch of color, so we're gonna do just a little bit of green onions. And then, oh my God, I almost forgot the most important part. So just to kind of tie in that big red flavor. Yes, you can't do without jalapeno, that's right. We did a pickled jalapeno on this, and it has a little bit of big red. So it's a big red pickled jalapeno. Really nice, sweet, spicy, savory, all the good things that we love in a dish. Oh my gosh, and I've got to taste a little bit of this right now, but you have other dishes here at Sticks and Stone, and we've got some examples yes. right here in front of us. So that? part of our Sticks and Stone combo, this is a stone portion. This is our, our wok fried rice bowl. It has kimchi in there, sauteed veggies. Uh, once again, I like everything super caramelized on the veggie front. You can get it with an egg on top. Then next to it, we have part of our small plates. This is our version of a Mexican street corn. So that green goddess right on the bottom, the mm -hmm. pesto, pecan, work really nice pickled red onions and then a fan favorite is our cauliflower fried wings that actually come with that goji jean glaze so I've, I have a this and that's obsession for yeah, you right? I have this obsession cauliflower. with cauliflower mm -hmm. but everybody wants to heavy bread them so same thing we throw it in our dredge really nice really delicious and we love that dish and of course there's another look at the fabulous desserts you have here walk us through that yeah so we have our horchata thres mm -hmm. leches um, we have our lemon bar which I our, got into our churro bread pudding <laughs> and our macarons and there's three different flavors in horchata, we did our version of a, uh, a lime margarita, and then our mango nada uh, macaron, which I guarantee is going to blow your socks off. All right, and of course, Sticks and Stone, right here off Wurzbach and 410. Tell folks how to find you. Yeah, so you can find us on Google or on Apple. Uh, our great friend, Sorry Sorry, we share the same complex with them. So Wurzbach and Bandera across from Ancira dealership, we have great lunch specials. We got to buy one, get one free on some of our small plates. Um, so come out and see us, Sunday brunch especially. And Big Red and special also, yeah. right? So Sunday brunch, we're going to do the Big Red and Barbacoa. So starting this Sunday, we'll be on the menu. All right, and of course, for more information on Sticks and Stone, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Mike, this is so, so good. That's just mm. painful watching you. Mm -hmm. but how is it? There's no grateful way to do that. No, mm. that's okay, though. Oh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'll try and bring one back for you. You can pack one up for Mike, right? We miss you, Mike. Okay. We'll see you. I'll bring one for you. Please, Leo, I'll be your best friend. I swear I got dizzy and my mouth was watering looking at all that wonderful food out there. Thank you very much, Fiona and Leo, in advance for the food. <laughs> hey, next on the show, they will save you time but leave you so satisfied. This social media chef with a million followers on YouTube is showing you two incredibly easy and tasty recipes for the most important meal of the day. Well, she has more than a million followers on YouTube and has even cooked on the Today Show. Her cookbook, Honeysuckle, is all about making mealtime easy and giving you fresh new ideas with classic meals. And this one I think you are going to love. Zung Lewis joins us to share two super simple breakfast ideas and most important meal of the day, right? Welcome. How are you? so much, Mike. And I know this is uh, just after lunchtime, but hey, breakfast for lunch, breakfast for dinner, breakfast anytime. I, I love yeah. eggs. <laughs> and what we're doing, well, you can explain what I'm doing right here. Great, so you're gonna be making an egg in a basket amped up with so much more flavor by just adding a few simple ingredients. So I see you already have your butter melted, so we're gonna toast up the white bread and we'll toast one side. Okay. And I've already cut the Perfect. hole in it, and I just used the lid of a, a jar. Good. Mm -hmm. So okay. toast that for 30 seconds, get it nice and like absorb the sage, the butter in there. And then once it starts to get a little bit brown and toasty, you can go ahead and flip it over. Okay. And browned butter, 
where you don't let it burn, but you just let it get that, and, and that just adds so much flavor to it, doesn't it? So much nuttiness. It just takes everything to the next level. I make my chocolate chip cookies with brown butter, and I'm telling you, it just, it, it's the best cookie ever. <laughs> okay, so my bread is toasted up a little bit here in the browned butter with a little bit of sage. Now, uh, what next? Go ahead and add your egg right in the middle. Okay, and leave the, the yolk intact. Yes, all the good stuff inside. Oh, that's perfect. So if you have a cover, a lid, just go ahead and cover it for about a minute so the egg gets cooked. If you don't, that's totally fine too. Later on, you can just flip it over just to get it, the yolk set. I don't know if I should use a paper plate. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try this. And then you also have another very simple recipe that uh, you can do as well, right? I do. And who doesn't love bagels and cream cheese? I did this because I was just craving more flavor and I was inspired by our local bagel shop that has like the best cream cheese flavors that I haven't seen before. So I thought I would DIY my own. So I just have room temperature cream cheese here. I'm going to add it to a bowl. And then I like having garlic savory flavors in my bagel. So I have some garlic, jalapenos for a little bit of spice, and then some green onions. I've already chopped up. Just add it to the room temperature cream cheese, some salt, pepper, and just give it a good mix. Mash it all up until it like absorbs and just takes in all the flavor, it looks nice and mixed in. And room temperature cream cheese would work best for this. And then you just spread it on your everything bagel. You can also do this to sweet flavors. If you like sweeter cream cheese, just use it with your favorite jam. Add a little bit of powdered sugar in there. And it's almost like cream cheese frosting on a bagel. I never, so good. that's such a simple idea. I would have never thought about putting like jam or jelly in there. That would be great. Yeah. I'm, I'm flipping with a fork. Here we go. Huh. So good. Oh, that's so good. Yay. Ta-da. Yeah, so just keep it there for 30 seconds and it's good to go. All righty. So you have another pot of butter over there. Just add a little bit and then toast up your garlic. Mm-hmm. Yes. It cooks very quickly. So that looks about done. Just go ahead and spoon some right on top. All right, let me plate this and we'll just flip it like that and see what this turned out like. All right. All right, where can we find more of these uh, fantastic recipes, Hung? So you can find more of my recipes on my YouTube channel at Honeysuckle. And I also have a cookbook called the Honeysuckle Cookbook. You can find it on Amazon. If you'd like more information on the Honeysuckle Cookbook, of course, you can go to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Mmm. Mmm. I love it with that brown butter. I've got to try that on eggs. Thank you so much for that great idea. Thank you for having me, Mike. Well, it is a rite of passage to adulthood for a lot of kids. Getting that set of braces to straighten out your teeth. And parents of kids ages 8 to 14 are probably on the lookout for a really good deal on braces. And we know where you can make it a lot easier. Dr. David Ferguson with Celebrate Dental and Braces is here to tell us how you can get a quote on braces without ever having to leave your home. First of all, good afternoon, doctor. How are you? Good afternoon. Doing well, Mike. Good to be here. Good seeing you. Okay, you have a website where people can get a quote on braces simply by snapping a few selfies. That sounds too good to be true. How's it work? It is too good to be true. I mean, honestly, Mike, it's so easy. And the thing is, is uh, with COVID, with everything else, even just busy schedules, even pre-COVID, you know, sometimes the hardest thing is just getting to the orthodontist to get an estimate of how long it would take and how much it would cost. And so what we've done at Celebrate Dental and Braces is we made an app and it is so easy. If people will just go to it, they'll see just how easy it is. It's mysmileselfie.com and it'll walk, it'll walk the person directly through how to do the process. And it's just, they snap a couple selfies of their teeth and they, it gets sent to us, to the orthodontist. We look at those photos and we send back a, a customized treatment plan that essentially says, hey, this is how long we estimate that it would take and what it would cost. Obviously, the, the patient will then come into the office and we'll just verify everything, uh, see if they have any other questions, but it's really that easy. Okay, well, obviously, like you said, not everything can be done online. So you do have, uh, what, six different offices around town and very convenient hours for parents 
that work, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, one of the things that we've tried to do in Celebrate Dental Embraces is just make things convenient. Um, and so we have six offices in town, like you said, spread throughout the city, very accessible. And then also the hours. I mean, we're open until six uh, on the braces side, open even later for the general dental side. Uh, and just trying to help people not miss work, not miss school. Okay. Always got to talk about money. What kind of insurance do you, do you accept? Uh, well, we love to talk about it because we take every insurance there is. Uh, you know, if, if there was some obscure plan that we didn't know of, we would get on it. Uh, and so we're in network, which means patients are going to get the lowest cost. And then for those, a lot of people don't have insurance. We have a fantastic in-house financing plan where there's no down payment, no credit check, and it's a monthly payment. Payments start as low as $99 a month. And sometimes people think we're joking, but you can literally come into our office, get braces on and walk out and you will have only spent $99. Wow. Anything else we should know, even though that's enough. <laughs> Yeah, the other thing that you should know is uh, there's no better time to get braces than right now because everybody's wearing masks. No one will even know that you have the braces on. <laughs> Submit your selfies now at MySmileSelfie.com for your free braces estimate. Celebrate Dental and Braces is also doing no credit checks, no down payment, and payments, as you heard, as low as $99 a month. And for more information, give them a call at 210-201-1696. Dr. Ferguson, always a pleasure. Good chatting with you. Great seeing you again, Mike. Have a good day. You too. Tomorrow on SA Live, Grammy-nominated stand-up comedian and actor Bob Saget is in town this weekend. He joins us for some laughs and chats about his new comedy tour. Plus, Fiesta's nearly here. Hey, get into the Fiesta spirit by supporting Mexican artists. This local company is highlighting traditions, culture, and designs from Mexico. We show off some of the handmade works of art. All that and a whole lot more tomorrow, one on SA Live. Never miss an episode of SA Live. Watch live or when you want on the KSAT TV app on these devices. SA Live streaming for free on KSAT TV. Oh, it's a hot day. What is really going to be that sweet treat to cool you down? Ice cool watermelon. Oh, that is wonderful. Yes. Okay, Yvonne says, both Why and myself love cherry snow cones. I have a snow cone maker and we have them all summer long. Yvonne, that sounds wonderful. Paul uh, says, <laughs> frozen strawberry margarita. I like that one, Paula. <laughs> Let's go up a notch, a jumbo margarita. That'll cool you off. Oh, and once again, hey, how about throwing slices of watermelon into a margarita? Could you do that? Robert on camera is going, yes, that would be absolutely wonderful. And I'll tell you one thing, those snowballs over there, Broadway, snowball company we had on, that was really yummy too. So, hey, hope you stay cool today. Join us tomorrow. We have a whole lot more coming up. Have a fantastic afternoon.